Hello everyone, it's Jack here and welcome back to another video and today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on uh, Feed the Beast and uh, this is for a remote charging station so say if you've ever been out and about and uh, you've been wearing your jetpack and you've run out of charge or you've been using your mining drill and you've uh, run out of charge on that and you've had no way of charging it up well here's a quick uh, invention that will uh, allow you to remotely charge your uh, tools from wherever you are in the world uh, it takes use of an ender pouch, ender chests and filters and it's a really really cool idea and uh, yeah in this video I'm going to show you what it does and how to make it so quickly before we do start um, I'm just going to say thanks to someone called Pirate Coffee he's the person who linked me uh, to this design and the person who invented it is someone called Panda413 uh, there's a link to the reddit post for this uh, invention in the link in the description below if you want to go and check that out and uh, ask him any questions about it and stuff like that so let's get into this so first of all we start off with the ender chest so we say we're out and about we go ahead open our ender pouch and uh, that also opens our ender chest because they link together so we place our jetpack in here and the way this works is there's an empty jetpack with the item idea of an empty jetpack in here and um, that does mean that you have to have two jetpacks and so what happens is as soon as you put the um, jetpack in here it will go into the ender chest which then the filter will take out and put into the top of the MFE now once the MFE's charged it there's a full jetpack in here and because the item IDs for an empty jetpack and a full jetpack are different as soon as this uh, jetpack is charged it will pump it out bring it around and back into the ender chest and then you can open your ender patch from wherever you are be it in a mine or far far away and you can take it out of there put it back on and uh, go ahead fly around to your heart's content and uh, be able to uh, fly again without having to worry about running out of charge halfway through a mine adventure and then when it does run out of charge once again let's just get this down to the next item ID below so uh, let's fly around for a second or two uh, let's check that now that is nearly there just keep let's keep going for a second or two more and uh, just need a little bit more and uh, that should go down to the next item ID. As you can see, the number on the end has changed to colon 2 before it was colon 1. So all we have to do is place it back in our ender pouch. So let's uh, take it off a second, put it back in there. And you'll see that it gets taken out of the ender chest, back into the MFE. The charge tops up and it comes back around. There we go, fully charged once again. So this is a really, really, really cool design. And uh, <laughs> the person who made it is an absolute genius. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch over into creative mode and I'll show you how to make this. Okay then, so it's time to start building the uh, contraption over here. And so the first things you're going to need are the ender pouch and the ender chest. You're also going to need a red power timer along with two red power red alloy wire. You're going to need a source of power. Now I'm assuming if you've got a jetpack or rechargeable tools you already have that. But in this case I'm going to be using an MFE. You're going to need two red power filters and four red power pneumatic tubes. So the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, place our power source down. Now, as I said earlier, um, I'm assuming you've already got one, so we're using the MFE. And uh, because this is just a test world, I've just hooked it up to a few uh, just normal generators with cold coke in them. So it's nothing spectacular, but yeah, as I say, I'm assuming you're going to be using this in your own world. So um, that you're going to have a proper power source by the time you've got rechargeable tools such as jetpacks, etc. So the first thing you're going to want to do now is once you've got your power source you're going to want to place your uh, ender chest just here now that will be where your jetpack your empty jetpacks or your empty tools or whatever you want to charge up will go into and you're going to want to place a filter uh, connecting to this so we're going to need a screwdriver very very quickly so let's go into creative mode plus let's grab a screwdriver there we go and we want to turn this around so uh, this side here is facing the ender chest that will mean it'll take stuff out of the ender chest and into the MFE and the reason I'm on default texture pack is because everyone's got access to the default texture pack and um, it makes this tutorial a lot easier to follow so once you've got that hooked up to here you're gonna need your second filter and you're gonna have to place it at the back of the MFE and that will take the item out of the MFE and we're gonna want the screwdriver back again and we're gonna want to turn it around so it's facing this direction which will mean when we place our pneumatic tubes down along the back it will uh, take the fully charged item out of there back out and back into the ender chest once we've done that the next thing we're going to need to do is dig down one block in the center place ourselves a timer and hold shift right click and that will place red alloy wire here and here 
Now, as you saw there, the jetpack what we were testing with over there actually came around. That's because um, it was still in the ender chest, so don't worry about that. So let's get some of this stuff off our hotbar, and I'll show you the next thing you want to do. So, the tools you want to charge need to be placed in the filter. Now, there's a specific way to do this. So you're going to need three of each tool that you're going to charge. Now, that may seem a little bit expensive, but because you've got uh, basically an unlimited uh, way of charging your tools, I think it's actually worth that cost. So the first thing you're going to want to do is place an empty item of your specific item you want to charge in the first filter connecting to the ender chest. Now what that will do is uh, that will take the um, uncharged item out of the ender chest when you place it in the ender bag or the ender pouch should I say and it will take it into the MFE. The reason it needs that there is because when the fully charged one keeps coming around it would go in an endless loop and um, it would just make the machine uh, very um, uh, inconvenient to use. So the next thing we want to do is take the fully charged item and place it in the filter behind. Now what that will mean is when we place our normal electric jetpack in, that will take it from the filter, it will take it into the MFE and it will fully charge and this filter behind will not take it out of the MFE until it's uh, reached the item ID ending in 1 which is a fully charged item. Now this works with any item you could try, you could try it with a mining drill, let's grab some of these, uh, uh, I spelt that wrong there, sorry. Uh, so we're going to want a mining drill and uh, let's go and spawn some of these in, so we want two empty ones and a full one. So we start off by putting another empty one in there, so this will hold up to 9 independent items. And a full one in there, we will uh, go ahead and put this in here. Now the cool thing about these filters, because they're intelligent from Red Power, uh, it will not actually take the item until there's space to put it, it will actually store it in its own inventory, which is very very awesome. And you'll see in a second or two, that it will take the uh, empty mine drill and put it back in there. So now that the jetpack's charged, it came all the way around, back into here, which you can access from your ender pouch very 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 cool so that's about it for this uh, invention i hope it helps you out in any way let's just uh, turn this rain off and that off and just make it a little bit more pleasant to watch yeah i hope you helped this uh sorry i hope you uh like this design it helped you out in any way if you did consider leaving this video a like and also consider heading over to the link in the description um it's the original post on reddit from panda413 um and without him this video would not have been possible because uh I would not have came up with this design on my own. So uh, go and say thanks to him if this helped you out as well. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, just uh, hop into showing you a few tips and tricks about uh, this machine. Okay then, so a few little uh, tips and tricks I just want to show you before I end this uh, video. Um, if you've got an ender chest which has got multiple colour codes on the top, so say if you were playing on a multiplayer server like uh, I am on the Minecraft TB server, um, you would not be able to use the default uh, all white coded ender chest with the ender pouch as they would not link up. So one cool thing you can do if you didn't already, if you uh, have got one of these with the code on, you right click that with the ender pouch and it will actually link the ender pouch to that ender chest as you can see there. The three colours on the front of the ender bag in the hotbar and in your uh, item inventory have uh, changed. So uh, that's how you link them together and that will now link to that and then when you want to link it back to the standard one, you just right click that and uh, they link up again and you're no longer connected to that one. So that's how you use the ender chests. Uh, there are a few problems with this at the moment, so if anyone's got any ideas about how to fix it, the first one, sometimes it will not remove uh, partially uncharged items. Um, that's a little bit of a glitch which I just thought I'd let you know about. It's due to the item IDs and um, the way these red power filters work. So that's uh, just a little thing I'd let you know about if you're trying to get this to work. But other than that, uh, I'd like to say thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, a like would be super awesome. Once again, go ahead and check out the Reddit post. It's linked in the description below. And uh, also, if there's anyone else who you think uh, would benefit from seeing this video, feel free to share it with them. It does help my channel get out there a lot. So I'll see you all on the next video. So bye and cue the awesome music.